Pickers, holy smokes, we did it again. We bought a storage unit, closing price 560, I think, so fees and all that good stuff. About 600 would be the total cost of this bad boy. Bought it because I thought I saw guitar boxes. I mean, they're guitar shipping boxes, but they could be empty. And you know what, I picked a lovely day, a 100 degree day to buy a storage unit in a non-air conditioned, dark, dusty facility. And I did it for you guys again. That's right. So, pop some popcorn, relax in your favorite easy chair, and get ready for the show. Yes. Well, there's a lot of stuff. First impression, it looks better in person. These are the boxes that I believe our guitar boxes. Now, when I looked, oh my God, it's a Fender logo. Okay. But they're just boxes and people do save their shipping boxes. Oh boy, should we touch it? It's empty. Oh, that's sad. Let's touch the second one. Second one's empty. No, 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 no. That hurts a little bit. <laughs> oh, and it was a fender box too. And my heart racing, but they are in fact empty. That's what I was afraid of. That doesn't mean they're not in here, but there is guitar amplifiers. There's many. One, two, three, four. There's five amps right there. So guys, we're hoping that there's guitars somewhere under there, but you know what? There was a fender in that one, and then there was, huh, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna start moving some stuff around. Stay tuned. Uh, this says corks, and sure enough, it's a bunch of corks. This is something, look at this, hold on. I just peeked in here and I was happy about that, what I saw. First of all, we got a tambourine. And look at this. We got a nice natural guitar body. I actually can finish this myself, look at that. I love that burst. It's clean, dude. So that's cool. So we did find a guitar. Maybe the neck's in here too. So I opened this and it's a uh, joint. Okay. Lots and lots of corks. I don't know if that's a thing. Is that a thing? Are corks a thing? Timberland Clark shoots. Yep, Timberland and Clark shoes. I don't know if you guys want to see all these, but these are just tools. Tools, bucket of tools, bucket of tools. Different rocks. Tools, 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 tools. And more tools. I'm not gonna show you guys everything. So this is a pile of stuff that wasn't cool enough to show. And this is all tools, but right behind it, I think we're about to get into some good stuff. Let's see. Who knows? What this is? Tubes. Oh my god. I sold individual tubes for hundreds. Just for one. And tubes right now are very high. Uh, tubes are very expensive. Hopefully that's what's in there. Oh my gosh. So we're going to have to look up, guys. But I've sold little single tubes for hundreds. Uh, depending on what they are. So there's a bunch of tubes in here. This could be more than the unit, just this box. Uh, it honestly could. Certain tubes. Tubes, good ones. These all say good ones. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm guessing they're amp tubes. Because he's not doing TV stuff. Tubes. These are all tuby tubes. This might be a tube jackpot, guys. We'll have to look these up, but... Rigid Pro Pack. I think it's a shop pack. And look at this. This is just more tools. But one thing I love about this tool box is the box itself. It's an old Pepsi. Old Pepsi box. Oh, that's cool. And it looks good. It's got all the slots. Both sides look really nice. That's a score. I love that. So here's some amps. I think I want to pull all the amps out. We'll, we'll look at them at once. All right, so that deficit, I'm actually having a really good time. That deficit was all these. This is just the cover for that one.
Look at these guys. So this is a Champ Amp. It looks complete. 1970s, I would guess. Here's a Univox, old Univox. Uh, here's another Univox. The Meteor is missing parts, I saw. This one's missing parts. So it has the speaker, but it doesn't have the actual amp, which they could be in there. This one's complete, and this one's complete. Old Fender Princeton 65. I might keep that one. Because I had an amp before that looked just like it, so I really liked it. That's a nice. So I think, I could be wrong. I think this is a $1,000 amp right here. I think that's a $1,000 amp. The other ones I have to look up, but what, what a great unit so far. I mean, imagine those were in there. Not that it matters, but you know, I love guitars. I already have amps, but there's some cool amps right there. That's exciting, guys. Very, very cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're maybe halfway in, and we got totes galore. This looks like another shop back. All the parts and pieces. Got a whole shop back in there. Hoses and stuff. Let's see the brand. Yep, yeah, it's a shop bag. An old uh, Timex alarm clock. That's super cool. I do like that. Some caution tape. An old Camel Club. Made in Canada. Extension cords. Just like it says on the box. Extension cords. That's a cool little tote though. Some beefy cords. Fragile. Paperwork. Sure enough. Charger. An old phone. And then a mystery box here. This phone stuff. Okay. Sperry top sliders. Yes, it is. Alright, some shoes. Some Sperry top sliders. Surge protectors. Whole bag of them. Man, this started out really fun. It's still a lot of money's worth of stuff for the flea market, but it started out a lot funner than it is, huh? There's a uh, battery charger. I just bought one of these. It's too bad. Because I could have used this one to charge the boat batteries out at the dock. Still kind of neat, though. There's another cool uh, box. This little adorable box says CDs, and that's exactly what was in here. Primus. Elvis. All right. Oh, I see some cool stuff. Oh, cool rocks. We love those. All right, so we got some cool rocks there. Look at that guy. That's beautiful. I like these fun little rummage boxes. Let's see. Old bottle of sorts. Those are just checks. That's empty. Looks like masks and safety gear. Not quite sure what that is. Pens and pencils. Little tape recorder. See, these would be little jewelry buddies, but they're not. Dolce & Gabbana. Well, Dolce & Gabbana chain. There's one more box in here. There is. There's little stuff. Okay, some playing cards. 13 keys chromatic pitch instrument. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Look at that, that's a carved uh, pen. Okay, look at it. Bunch of possible cool type pens. Pepper shaker, lighters and keys. Very miscellaneous box. Make sure there's not a big giant golden ring down there, huh? Doesn't look like there is, but kind of a neat box. Some rocks and some cool stuff. I like that box. Stereo cassette adapter, that's kind of cool. Somebody out there needs that. Candles, emergency candles. Okay, 
some old stuff. Check your deal there. Dry splice. Magnifying glasses. More old wood items. A cash box. Just my luck, but you know what? The cash box has the key. So that's a good cash box. Pickers, we got a neat vintage suitcase, tweed. Wish me luck. It might just be pantyhose. Here's a sock. The sock's got something in it. It's like a treasure hunt. Oh, it's a KK's nipple for mammary. So that's her nipple. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should I be touching this? It's probably her pantyhose and stuff, right? Yep. So this is a, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. This is a little savings account of some memories and a GoPro. Uh oh. Oh, this is all wieners and stuff. Look. Wiener extension. Add two inches. Should we look at it? Yep. It's a wiener extender. So there's probably a movie on there. I don't think we're going to watch that. These could all be... Dirty movies. That's my guess. we got to be careful what we pull out here, huh? Oh, that is... <laughs> I know what that is. I can feel it. We can't show this on camera. That's a mold of a private part. Okay. Let's see what this is. Feels like the same thing. It is. It's the mold of a private part. And then... Maybe the kit to make naked parts. Yeah, it looks like it. So it's all all sexy stuff. All right, a little bit wild. That is a better top, so we'll keep that there as our new unboxing. <laughs> this one took a turn, didn't it? Let's see what we got in here. Shrink pack bags, batteries, case. A case of dust off. Art supplies. We love those. I do art, so hopefully there's something cool in there. Art books and paper and different art supplies. All right, that's a box. I can see that box being a box. Genuine leather by Bellino bag. It's just fluff to keep the bag nice. That's a nice bag. Wow, that's a nice leather bag. Really nice. Let's take a look at this trophy. It's just an old trophy. It doesn't have anything on it. It's like more tool type stuff. Let's see. That's kind of neat. Look at that. Whoa. Be gentle. Look at that ultramometer, Rochester, New York. Oh, it's broken. I didn't do that. All right, we're getting there. Remember, this is kind of the wall of tools. Maybe a few hundred dollars in random tools. Uh, when you break it down, all the little parts and pieces, we're gonna have to go through it, make sure there's not like rings or anything cool in it. And then I found a tire, I found more speakers, kind of an old thing, uh, old box, and then more extension cords and stuff golf clubs there's a pa speaker there's a few more totes a few more uh cool totes and some other stuff i was just showing you that i'm not going to film every single thing like i didn't film most of this it's just random stuff it all adds up two dollars five dollars ten dollar items little flea market things but nothing we're uh, looking at too closely for the video because why that's going to bore you guys so i'm trying to only put boxes on this video that um look decent so we got a few more boxes, then we're gonna load the rest of it up. We'll be on our way. Have some dinner, yes. There's an old dirt bike. Different, different ephemeras. Different articles of ephemera. What's that? 
Genuine 24 karat gold finish. Brass. So there might be a couple neat things in here. Scrapbook. I mean, who knows, right? Could be so much different stuff in there. Okay, this looks like it's all medical tomatoes type of stuff. A little trip down memory lane of what he enjoyed. Look at there's something in there. Carmen Cardon. It's kind of tight. I bet you that's worth money. I bet you. Damn, that's smooth too. I bet you that's a big money piece. That's yeah, like 150. So we'll just put it at the flea market. I'm not going to list that for 150, but it's pretty cool. There's even more uh, paraphernalia. Just for the tomatoes, though. He didn't. He didn't do the weird stuff. He just did the tomatoes. Little king size zigzag, buddy. Let's see what's in here. Nothing in the film container. All right. Sorry about that. Picker's got a phone call. All right, let's take a look. The Marlboro bag itself is super cool. I think you would have got this with Marlboro Miles back in the day. Decent looking stuff. Picker's, holy smokes, look at the mess I've created. <laughs> There's some other stuff. A little, little broom, buddy. Maybe that'll become my van broom. We got some wood. Maybe some shelving over there. Like I said, tools and stuff. Another speaker. Uh, some stuff in there. And then one... PA speaker, a Behringer self-powered PA speaker. That'll actually probably sell really well at the flea market, but that's pretty much the unit. Financially, I think we killed it with all the fees. It was 653, 653, my goodness. But yeah, we just pulled out these golf clubs too. Kind of cool. But like I said, yeah, there's a bunch I didn't film. I don't want to show you redundant stuff over and over. And we got to dig a little bit closer for through the small stuff, but the amps. The amps are where it's at. Maybe a couple thousand in tubes and amps, hopefully. Maybe more, maybe less. We'll have to see. And then uh, at least another thousand in random wing dings and ding dongs. If you use your if you use your mind, it's hard to lose on a storage unit. And uh, I don't think we'll lose on this one by any means. Like I said, there's a lot of little stuff. The tools are going to add up. We'll just have to see. But... Um, and there's always little surprises, little things you don't even expect. Like, oh, that golf club's $300. That, that seems to always happen when you really go through stuff. There was more CDs and other stuff we didn't show. Because like I said, again, I don't think that stuff's too interesting for you guys. But I'm going to pack all this up. I had fun. It was just fun. It was nice. A little something different. Some music stuff. Love music stuff. Man, yeah. I'm having fun with it. So... Let me load this up. Let's go check on Bertha. How's Bertha doing? Bertha's out here being Bertha. Look how big she is. And we got plenty of room. We could fill this load. I put in the comments, do I put the videos from that suitcase? Do I pop one in my computer and watch it or no? <laughs> I'm so curious, but uh, also don't want to see anything that's going to gross me out. So I'm going to vote no on that this time. But uh, yeah, storage unit. I'm going to clean all this stuff up. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Love you very much. Mm -hmm.